Jenny Niles Rebiche. I'm a yoga instructor and I'm excited to be joining you from Wicked Tulips Flower Farm. Um, it's a beautiful day here today and today we're going to be doing a sort of an unwind practice that might be good to do in the evening or anytime you're kind of feeling like you need a moment to decompress. So let's get started. So find an easy seated position. Something that's comfortable for you might be seated with legs crossed or extended. The crown is tall and the spine is long. Maybe the chin is just gently tucked down and your eyes might start to close. Or maybe you gaze at a spot on the floor or something ahead of you, but let the gaze soften. Let's take a few full breaths here just to settle in. Just to notice what's going on around you and then start to let go. Notice how the breath is showing up today. Allow it to be whatever it is for the first few moments. And then invite your breath to start to lengthen out on the exhales. Just a little bit longer than the inhales. When we lengthen out our exhales, we activate our parasympathetic nervous system, our side of our nervous system that tells us we can rest and digest. So continue with that for a few more breaths here. As you breathe and focus on your breath, maybe you stay in this space of stillness. Or maybe you take a little bit of a head roll side to side or some shoulder rolls to kind of settle yourself in. Together, let's take three more full breaths. Inhale and exhale slowly. Inhale and exhale. Take one final inhale and exhale. And then with the next inhale, gently sweep the arms out and overhead reaching through the fingers. And with an exhale, let's twist to your right side. Fingers come down ahead and behind and you just gaze towards your right. And either again, you softly gaze at something on the floor or whatever's ahead of you, or maybe the eyes close. But you're starting to see what's showing up in the twist, this very first gentle twist. Good, next inhale, let's sweep back up to center, reach through the fingers, and then exhale and twist to the other side. Again, continue to just breathe and notice what shows up today. Pay attention to what the spine is saying to you. And then next, inhale, sweep it back up to center, reach through the fingers. As you exhale, soften the shoulders just a little bit. Inhale, reach back up through the fingers. And then this time on the exhale, right hand comes down beside right elbow bends, left arm reaches. Get some space in the side body. As you inhale, sweep yourself back up to center, reach through the fingers, and exhale to the other side, reaching through those lifted fingers, pressing through the hand that's on the floor or mat. And then next inhale, sweep yourself back up to center. Pause again to exhale, drop the shoulders. This inhale, reach, reach, reach through the fingers, maybe even gaze up towards the ceiling or sky above you. And then with an exhale, keep that length and space and reach towards the top of your mat. Take the fingers and reach as long as you can towards the top of the mat. And once you've reached as long as you can, then maybe you start to drop the heart and head down towards the mat, letting yourself fold in. See if you can keep both sits bones firmly rooted right where they are. Notice the inhale and the exhale. Even here in this folded up position, you can still feel the expansion of the inhale and the emptying out of the long, slow exhale. Good. Next inhale, plant the palms and make your way up to your tabletop position, your hands and knees. So if you need a blanket to slide under the knees, grab a blanket, slide it under the knees. 
Have the palms be about hip width distance apart. Shoulder distance apart rather. Knees hip width distance apart. And then when you're ready, start your cat cow breath. So as you inhale, you drop the belly and gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale and round. And then continue with that for a few more breaths, going at your own pace. Maybe even wiggling a little bit with the hips left and right. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe you circle the hips in one direction and then the other. Inhale back up and exhale. And then gently bring yourself back to your neutral table. Hands and knees pressing into the floor, lifting you up a little higher. Neutral in that you're gazing towards the top of the mat. Pause here for a full breath. And then start to shift the weight into the left hand. And inhale with the right fingers. Send them either out to the side or all the way up towards the ceiling. And then with an exhale, send the right arm under and through the left. Right shoulder comes down. Right side of your head comes down. Threading the needle. Taking another gentle twist here. Let's give it one more full breath. Inhale and exhale. And then as you inhale, press the floor away. Lift yourself back up, reaching back up through the fingers. And then exhale, cartwheel the right hand around and down to the mat. And we'll take it on the other side. So shift your weight gently into the right palm. Inhale, the left fingers out either towards the wall or all the way up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, send the left arm under and through, letting yourself drop down onto the left shoulder or the left side of your head. And take a pause there. Give it another two breaths. And then when you're ready, inhale and sweep the left arm back out. Reach back up through the fingers. And with an exhale, cartwheel the hand around and down to the mat. Take a little transition, whatever that means for you. So maybe it's a cat-cow breath here. Drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale and round. Maybe your wrists feel a little tight, so you rotate the wrists around, or shake out the hands. Take one more full inhale and exhale in whatever transition works best for you. And then we'll all inhale together, dropping the belly, gazing up. And with the next exhale, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. And with downward facing dog, let's pedal the feet, Come up onto the tiptoes, stretch out the soles of the feet, bend the knees. And then let's look at the space between our hands and step. Just one step at a time, all the way up to the top of the mat. Take it nice and slow. No rush to get there. But once you do, bring feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale to halfway lift, fingers to shins. Exhale, fold in nice and heavy. Heavy arms, heavy head. And let yourself sway just a little. You might even hold opposite elbows here and sway. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. And come back to your extra long, slow exhales. Sigh it out. Good. From here, we'll drop the arms down, root down through the feet, rise up one vertebrae at a time, all the way up to standing, reaching through the fingers, and then exhale, pull the hands together at heart center. We'll take a pause here. A full inhale up through the crown of the head. And exhale, feel it down through the soles of the feet. And then next inhale, sweep the arms out and overhead reach through the fingers. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold all the way in. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to shins. Exhale, fold, bend the knees enough to plant the palms. Send the left foot back behind you. The left knee comes down. We'll inhale. The arms will come up overhead, reaching through the fingers. Take a pause. Feel both the reach and the groundedness. Root into the right foot so you lift a little bit. And then exhale. Pull the hands together at heart center. As we inhale, we roll the shoulders back and down. Puff the chest a little. And then exhale and twist towards your right leg. Hook the left elbow around the right thigh. 
So just starting to rinse and release anything that's kind of been working up throughout your day. One more full breath in your twist. And then inhale, bring the arms back up to center. Take one more reach, really press through the right foot. And then exhale, plant the palms down to the inside of the right foot here. Maybe you adjust the back knee back just a little bit to soften the foot. And then inch the right foot all the way out to the right edge of your mat. Coming into our lizard pose here, a little bit of a hip opener to again try and release, let go anything that might have built up throughout the day. Our hips hold a lot of our experiences. So just notice what comes up for you as you're here. It might feel good to gently rock a little bit left and right, coax your way in. If this doesn't work for you, if your body feels like this isn't for me, just gently rock back, maybe come out of it a little and rock forward. We're here to meet ourselves exactly as we are in each moment, so there's nothing to fix or change. But listen to your body. So if something else is calling to you, feel free to, to adapt and, and push back a little. And whatever your lizard looks like in this moment, take one more full breath here. Empty it out. And then next, inhale. Gently inch the right foot into the center at the top of the mat. And shift the hips back for a runner stretch, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. There's a micro bend in the right knee. The right heel pulls down to the mat. The right toes point towards your nose. Take another full breath here. Inhale and exhale. And then next inhale. Shift the weight back forward. Bend the right knee. Right foot comes back down. Walk the hands back up. Curl the left toes under. Lift the left knee up. And then step yourself back up to the top of the mat. Come to halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale and fold. Maybe you sway just a little bit. And then release the hands back down and bend the knees enough to step the right foot back this time. Right knee comes down. We'll inhale, sweep the arms back up towards the sky or ceiling. Pause here. Feel your strength. Feel the rootedness and the reach, the lift. Good. One more inhale to reach. And then as you exhale, pull the hands together at heart center. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down, puff the chest a little. And then as you exhale, twist from the belly to hook the right elbow over the left thigh. And breathe here for a couple of full breaths in your twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Next inhale, sweep the arms back up to center, reach through the fingers. And exhale, plant the palms to the inside of the left foot. Again, coming to your lizard. So we inch the left foot all the way over to the left edge of the mat. You might want to soften the back foot or adjust the back knee just a little bit. And then once you find it, allow yourself to stay for a few breaths. Maybe you rock the hips a little bit. Maybe you adjust coming kind of in and out of it. Letting it be fluid. Or if you eventually find yourself to in stillness, let yourself be there. And then see if you can stay with your breath for about two more full rounds of breath, fully paying attention to those two rounds. The inhale, and then the long, slow exhale. The inhale, and again, the long, slow exhale. Next breath, we inch the left foot into the center at the top of the mat. Shift the weight back for runner stretch. Left heel roots down, left toes point towards your nose. The left leg is straight, but it can have a little micro bend in the knee to protect your knee. You'll feel it once the hamstrings are talking, they're not shy. Just notice. One more full breath, inhale and exhale. And then next, inhale, shift the weight forward, bend the left knee, left foot comes down, walk the hands up, curl the right toes under, lift the right knee up. Step up to the top of the mat, halfway lift, fingers to shins. Exhale and fold. 
and then we inhale, come back up to standing one last time, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky or ceiling, exhale, pull that sun into your heart, pause, inhale, and exhale, and then next inhale, let's sweep the arms out and overhead one last time, exhale, hinge at the hips, fold all the way in, inhale, laugh, halfway lift, fingers to shins, exhale and fold, bend the knees a lot, we're going to come all the way down onto our seat, bring yourself all the way down nice and slowly, and as you come to your seat here, bring the soles of the feet together, the knees apart, pause here in this diamond shape with your legs, you can choose how close you'd like that diamond shape to be, the diamond can be kind of wide if that feels better, or the, the heels can be closer to your sits bones. Hands can come to shins or tops of the feet. Maybe you wiggle the knees just a little as you settle in again. And then maybe you inhale, arch the back and stay right there. Or maybe you keep that arch and start to let your heart fold in towards the feet and take a pause in a folded bound angle pose. Maybe your head even starts to drop down towards your feet, your choice. One more full breath. And then as you inhale, gently walk the hands back up to seated. Bring the soles of the feet down to the mat, knees stay bent. We might windshield wiper the knees a little left and right. And then slowly, knees back up to center, just roll yourself all the way down onto your mat, coming all the way down onto your back here. Knees can stay bent, feet can stay to the mat. Let's widen out the feet and let the knees fall together. Knock knee pose. And in this pose, come back to your breath. Feel the natural rise of the inhale and fall of the exhale. One more full breath, inhale and exhale. And then next inhale, hug the knees in towards your belly. Maybe you take a gentle rock left and right. And then send the legs up towards the ceiling or sky. Pause here, hands can drop down towards the floor or maybe rest with your belly and heart. One last breath. And then gently bend the knees and let the soles of the feet come back down to the mat. We'll come to our final twist here. So we'll extend our arms out like a T and cross the right leg over the left. And then with the right leg over the left, we drop the knees over to the left side. Take a pause for another few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then next inhale, gently bring the knees back up to center, unwind the legs and take it on the other side, left crosses over right, and then we send the knees over to the right. And again, pause and breathe here. Unwinding, letting go, releasing whatever it might have been holding on to today. Good. And then next inhale, gently bring the knees back up to center. Unravel the legs. Maybe you hug yourself back in one more time. Nice and tight little ball. And then exhale and release everything down. The legs come down. The arms come overhead. Reach in both directions. Take a full body breath. A full body stretch. And then as you exhale, land in your final resting pose. Now, your resting pose can be just like this, laying flat on the floor, or you may want to grab a couple of bed pillows or throw pillows and use those under your legs. Sometimes that feels nice to have your knees lifted as you lay back down into Shavasana, your choice. But as you land, continue to breathe here and stay in your resting pose for a few more breaths. Again, focus on those long, slow exhales activating that rest and digest side of the nervous system. And as you begin to land, I'll share with you a meditation. And this reading is called Outweighting Clouds. The bud in half bloom outweights the cloud. 
Some days we wake with a cloud around our hearts and it dulls everything except the weight we carry deep inside. Yet just because we can't make it to the light today doesn't mean that the light has vanished. In truth, the, the heart, like the earth, is continually blanketed by ever-changing atmospheres that come and go between who we are and how we live our days. So faith, it seems, can be defined as the effort to believe in light when we're covered by clouds. And though it feels like the sun will never come again, the truth is, is that it has never stopped burning its light. In fact, its heat and warmth is burning steadily right now on the far side of whatever cloud we are under. Outweighting clouds. I invite you to continue to rest in your Shavasana pose. Take a few full, slow breaths and a few more minutes to just rest and integrate all the work from your practice today and from your day out in the world. Maybe you unwind enough to fall completely asleep or maybe you eventually make your way back up and out into the world off the mat. As you do, I invite you to take a full inhale and exhale and extend acceptance and gratitude to all the moments that brought you right here today. Another full inhale and exhale and extend acceptance and gratitude to all the moments that are yet to come your way. And another full inhale and exhale and extend acceptance and gratitude most of all to yourselves, just as you are in this moment. It's been a joy to practice with you today from the tulips. Thank you all. Namaste, yogis.